Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Zero to Hero Trader YouTube channel and welcome to our tutorial video series on how to use the Thinkorswim platform. Before we get started, make sure that you like and subscribe down below. Make sure that you get notified when we post another video. This series is really for traders who are new to the Thinkorswim platform and want to learn how to use it to their advantage to make their trading easier. So let's jump right into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of extra space on your Thinkorswim charts. Zero to hero trader, learn to trade in no time. Watch our videos and be sure to subscribe. All right, guys, so on the default settings of your spacing on your charts, price should be crammed right up to the right side edge of your screen over here. So if you want to move it where you have a little bit of space on the right and a little bit of space at the bottom or the top, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so if we go back up here to the settings wheel, and what we're going to do is we're going to edit the time axis and the price axis. Time axis is right down here. It's going to be your X axis. And the price axis is going to be your Y axis. Okay? So if we want to add a little bit of room to the right, we're going to first go to the time axis. And this counts in bars. So let's call it 30 bars to start. See how we like that. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Now you see you got some space over here to the right. You can kind of see what's going on a little easier. Okay, now let's say we want to add a little space to the bottom and the top. Now you can see here, since price is down towards the lower area of this Y axis, you have a lot of space to the top, but that's just because the way the settings are right now, it's spreading the screen evenly over the area that's allotted, right? So since it's on the lower side of the entire screen is going to be smashed up against the bottom and you're going to have space up here. So we want to be able to add a little bit more space down here, a little bit more space up here, just in case, you know, if we're in a situation like this, where it's at the top of the majority of the price shown on the screen, you have a little bit of space at the top. Okay. So we're going to go back into the settings. This time we're going to go to the price axis and you're gonna adjust the percent up and percent down. So you can play with this. I find the 20% gives a pretty good, pretty good range there. All right, so just click that. All right, so you can see that it kind of centered everything, gave us a little more room to the bottom and to the top. So this kind of gives you a little more space to see everything and just makes it a little more appealing to the eye. All right, so if you like this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon if you want to get alerted next time we upload another video. And if you like, leave us a comment down below. Let us know how much spacing do you like on the bottom and the top. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. 